beauty found in summertime has long since left, and Mother Nature's beast is all that remains. The horizon has vanished behind a wall of fog, meekly appearing ever so often, just long enough to remind you that it is still there. Stark, snowy landscapes are all that remain, speckled with a few exposed, jagged cliff walls. Within this inhospitable terrain, where most would perish, the mountain goat thrives. Great friends, good people. I feel very blessed. Completely pushed out right now. We've been climbing all day. Hunted so hard. And this bull just kept escaping us. The rewards in the journey, and this has been an unbelievable journey so far. I thought you said that these goats were uh, not at the top of the cliffs this time of year. <laughs> Unless you're here. <laughs> Is this goat even huntable? He's, yeah, not really. I mean, small chance of getting up there. I think the first day we'd just be patient. And... We'd like to think that we have lots of time, exactly. but then we're gonna blink our eyes and we're gonna be like, oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's day nine. <laughs> Especially if we get another foggy day like today. Oh man, it's been brutal. Last week he was right in the bottom of the rocks and very huntable, so maybe tomorrow you will be. Yeah. We're just following the nannies around this time of year anyway. With short daylight hours and long treacherous climbs ahead, the hunter's worst enemy is morning fog. Billy's on the far left, and from this distance, really the only way you can tell is that his scent glands at the base of his horns, or you can see them from here. They look like two black eight balls. Staring at a bleak landscape, searching for a slightly yellow form to emerge from the dreary sky. After days of searching, a welcomed break in the weather and lifting of fog reveals a low goat. They said we're right below the goats. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't look very far, but it's gonna probably take us an hour to get there. Conditions couldn't be nicer though. Yeah, pouring rain. Love it. But they're low goats.
even within range of the goats. We can't see them. <laughs> no. Yeah, we're probably 300 yards from the goats right now. Yeah. And I have no idea what's going to happen when we get to the top of the timber. That goat was somewhere up in there. We're probably gonna have to just slowly creep around through these rocks, slowly revealing new sections of the cliff face, hoping to get eyes on these goats before it gets too late. And we have to come back down. There he is. Mr. Billy. As quickly as an opportunity comes, it also goes. And the heartbreak is that you simply cannot keep going. So no go, cliffed out? Yeah, absolutely cliffed out. Straight rock face. The hard part about hunting these goats is not finding them, it's getting to them. And you look at how steep and rough this country is, it's extremely easy to underestimate the terrain that you're going to encounter. You, know, you look at all of this and you think, well, if a tree can grow there, then I can walk there. And that's not always the case. It makes it very deceiving how inapproachable some of these goats are. The goats we're looking at right now are just off the peak. Uh, in the fresh white snow just above standard tree line there and getting to them is certainly no easy feat. I think it's going to snow all day tomorrow, but I'm hoping it doesn't affect us being able to see that goat. I hope not either. It's uh, kind of a long shot what we're doing tomorrow. Like it's a long hike, but it's a good goat. I wish there was one lower, but it is what it is. So we're gonna climb to the moon. Exactly. We got up extra early this morning to try to get eyes on these goats at first light because um, it's such a, a brutal hike that we have ahead of us if we're going to go after these goats. And so far, we've got a lot of fog. Uh, it's kind of sinking in and then lifting. So far, I haven't been able to see these goats. We were just hoping to not have to go after them because they're not in a good spot. It's looking like they're our best option right now. The weather becomes a waiting game, making short days even shorter to the point that you cannot safely climb the distance needed within the hours that remain. There's two of them. One's definitely a Billy. After seven days, we take a chance.
So you follow the face around like this. That's what I was thinking. And then you get the one rock bluff, right? Yeah. And then he's in the next one over, correct? Yeah, if we go, if we angle across here, yeah, you get that green. we might be able to get to that opening. Terrifying on this hunt. Borderline terrifying. I have a new rule, Brent. It's not worth it. Exactly. We'll go around to the bottom, screw at the bottom of the rocks, and maybe we can see up. The new rule is if the little rope has to come out, we're not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, I just thought we could get through that one bad spot and shoot right from there and it just gets worse and worse and worse so there's no point eighth day another wonderful day for a hike our destination is that rock peak right there this morning we got eyes on about four goats Looks to be at least one good billy. There might be more than one billy in the group. But, uh, that's gonna be a long jaunt. I see three. Oh yeah, I see them. I'm down in the trees. Yep, they're down in that draw. Yep. waiting for the snow to lighten up enough to give me a shot on this goat. We've been laying in the snow for well over an hour, probably pushing two hours. We spent all day climbing up here. And I'm now currently 450 yards from this goat. We're running really short on daylight, but the snow is coming down and this goat just will not give me a broadside shot. And I don't want to take a chest on shot at this distance. I'm on him. Brent, are you ready? I'm ready, yeah. You got a goat. He fall? Oh my God, did he ever. Boy, oh boy, did he come a long ways past. I couldn't see anything. I shot in my snow just blew up like I just held it right dead on his shoulder and I used uh, 
just shy of 450 yards. Hit him right in the shoulder and just like somebody pulled him off the cliff, he just came crashing down through there. It's, these goats are so hard to see in the snowstorm. Nice job. Good shooting. Eight days. Yeah. Yeah, eight days of <laughs> That's cliff ex dwelling. That's excellent. In the snow, crawling through the snow. Hopefully he's intact. I've seen some survive falls like that. And they'll break in their horns and some don't, so we'll see. Ooh, he fell. Yeah, he fell a long ways. Yeah, he fell a long way. Congratulations. Give me a hug. I feel bad he broke the one side of his horn completely off in the fall. Yeah, that's pretty typical. Lots of hard work for this one. I'll say. In five years of waiting. <laughs> yeah. Today was a hard, hard day of weather. Yeah. Like, it couldn't have gotten any worse. So it's still pounding snow. Second to last day of our trip, and this goat, we have been joking all week about him being on the moon, and, and uh, kind of a last-ditch effort. We made it work, despite the weather. Huge climb, and really, that little break in the weather today, if it hadn't been for that, you wouldn't have got a shot. Well, congratulations, Christy. Thank you. But we got lots of work to do, and I'm afraid we're gonna be getting out of here in the dark. Way dark. Brent and I planned for five years to turn this hunt into a reality. The 12-year-old Billy had spent his life high in the peaks of these unforgiving mountains and he was both worth the wait and the effort. It is here that you see the beauty in Mother Nature's Beast.